This sweet little thing is a 77 Guitars Albatross Jazz model. It's straight out of the box. It's been in tune for about 10-15 minutes, I'm going to say. And it sounds really, really, really good. I'm running it into my AX8 uh, with the Texas Star Clean and a Greenback Impulse. And this is what it sounds straight up on the neck pickup with everything all the way up. And then at the end, I was just rolling a tone out a little bit. This is what the bridge pickup sounds like with the tone wide open, and then I'll bring it down again. <laughs> So there is a clean sound which, you know, it sort of does what it says on the tin. It's very, very jazzy. It's perfectly suitable for uh, that sort of thing, which I totally cannot play. Uh, disclaimer after the fact, I'm not a jazz guy at all. That's my uh, faux jazz impersonation. Um, it does have a center block of maple running through, but we've got a spruce top on a mahogany back and neck, as hopefully you can see, and some really impressive uh, tortoiseshell binding all the way around. The thing that I like is the neck is really nice and chunky down here for playing chords and it doesn't sort of like get too big down here so you can still play lead guitar on it and the bridge is really nice and low to the body. You can see it's got like a traditional Les Paul style bridge on there, I guess rather than the traditional sort of floating jazz bridge. But yeah, it does that and it's so small. Uh, I'm sure it looks comical on me because I'm like 6'2", nearly 6'3". And uh, this is definitely one of the smallest bodied electric guitars I've played but it's really, really sweet and resonant. And it sounds amazing for rock stuff, so I'll dial up a uh, different patch on the AX8 and we can uh, have a listen to how it goes in drop D. <laughs>
As you can hear, it does a rock thing as well. It sort of does everything that you would expect a Les Paul to do, as well as a jazz style guitar like an ES. And it's a, actually a pretty cool compromise. It's like, you know, a Les Paul and a 335 had a baby, and uh, a baby that can do both things that both its parents did. You know, it's got the chunky Les Paul thing. It's definitely got the Les Paul kind of feel happening, but then it has the jazz aesthetic and it can do the jazz thing as well. So that's a definite selling point with this. The fret wire, uh, I have an SDR LJ1, which is sort of like a 59 replica. The fret wire on this is a little bit bigger and I'm really digging that. Ebony fretboard, super smooth to play on. And like I said, I've only just pulled this out of the box. Uh, and had a jam on it. Uh, this one's for sale through MT Guitars. Their reverb store is linked in the video description. And yeah, if you dig this guitar, um, buy it so I don't have to. <laughs> I certainly don't need any more guitars, but I really, really dig this one. I think I want one. So uh, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoy it, please hit the subscribe button.